Hi, my name is Sage Sunier, and today I'm going to show you how to combine STL files using Mesh Mixer. We use this when making life-sized heads. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we combine the heads to a base that I designed in Fusion 360. So as you can see here, this is the imported head. It is actually hollow on the inside. I like to start off by first making the object a solid. This is going to help later on uh, when you export the STL file for 3D printing to make sure that you don't just have a shell, you have a solid object to print. When making an object solid, you can adjust the settings to preserve sharp edges, make it more accurate. Um, however, in this case, we should be fine with just a fast make solid process. If you look over here at your object browser, you'll see that now you have your original STL file as well as a solid version of your object. Now we're going to add our base. So we click import and append. And here I'm just going to find and pull out the uh, file for our base. Now that we have both the base and the head, it's time to start maneuvering our pieces and putting them together. I'm going to the Edit Transform tool, where here I'll be able to easily manipulate and scale the object as desired. So here I'm just rotating it around 90 degrees, so it's in the right direction with our head, and I'm going to shift it down the Z axis. You can easily move it in increments in X, Y, or Z axis directions. So here it is aligned pretty well, however, we're going to have to make a couple changes. First, I'm going to start off by chopping off some of this neck. The head comes with a giraffe-like neck, and in order to make this look a little more natural, we're going to just remove some of the neck. So I'm using the plain cut tool to chop off the base part. You can switch which direction you want to remove using the large blue arrow. All right, now that I have chopped off some of the neck, it's time to make a few more adjustments. So I'm going to go back into my transform tool with the base selected. Here I'm going to expand it in the X direction. This looks a little bit more natural, but maybe a little bulky. So here it's all about playing around until you get the desired result. I'm pretty happy with the base now, but as you can see, there's some of the neck sticking out the back. Now I'm going to use the sculpt tool to remove this part of the neck. My tools that I prefer to use are the flatten and drag tool. Make sure you're on the object that you wish to manipulate, and then you can start pulling in the excess pieces to make the transition between the two objects smoother. This looks good, but I'm going to make it even better by using the Flatten tool to try and smooth out some of the transition sections. Alright, now it's looking pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with the combination of the head and base. So I'm going to go ahead and select both, go to the Edit section, and click Combine. This is going to make it all into one piece. Now I like to do one extra step and select this combined object and turn it into a solid. This will make it easier when you move to 3D printing or if you want to bring your STL file into softwares like Luban to split your piece into multiple objects for 3D printing. Once I'm done and happy with my final result, I'll click export and save it as an STL file. Thanks for watching.